there's a storm coming. Can you see it? Looks like there's going to be thunder, lightning, lots of rain. It's dark. And right in the middle of the storm over there, there's also a rainbow. So that's the beautiful example of there's going to be a storm, but there's going to be great times afterwards. And I get excited about that because isn't that what life is all about? Life's about good times and bad times, tough times and fun times. And how would we get tougher, stronger, wiser, better if there were no tough times? So I look forward to the storms, the physical mother nature storms, but also the ones that are going to come into our life. Lives. Now, there's two kinds of storms, of course. There's the ones that we have complete control over, the ones that we create ourselves, uh, or we could stop creating them so that we don't have personally created stuff that happens in our life. But the stuff that we don't have control over, I can't stop that storm from coming. I can just appreciate it get excited by the lightning and, and thunder if it happens. Uh, I can learn and grow from it. If something happens to my property or my garden when the storm gets here, what do I need to do differently so that when another storm arrives, my garden will be ready for it? And it's a classic example because where I'm standing right now is, as I always share, one of the windiest places in New Zealand, one of the coldest places in New Zealand, one of the frostiest, mistiest, and in the summer, one of the hottest. And the first time we had a really big wind, and when I say big wind, we had 160 kilometre hour winds, which is the, the limit our, our wind engineer shared with us that our house is built to 156 kilometres an hour. Well, we got 160 and survived beautifully. But what I did before and after the storm, so I knew that there was going to be a storm. I knew that there was wind coming. So I went around and made sure that everything was uh, wind ready. After the storm, there were some things that I didn't know would blow away. So there were some things we had to fix. There were some things we had to change. There were some things we had to dig in a bit deeper. And then I was excited for the next windy day. I was excited for the next windstorm because then I could check whether or not my wind engineering was working. And isn't that a great idea for life? Get ready for the storm. Be prepared for it. When it arrives, it'll probably screw some things over, wreck some things, damage some things, but learn from all of that so that next time you're prepared for it and better. It's a bit like the human body. It gets fitter and stronger when you put it under pressure. If it gets no pressure, it just gets weak and rots away because it's got no reason to get stronger. So could we appreciate love and uh, jump up and down with excitement that yes, there's a storm coming. Yes, there's going to be challenges. Appreciate the challenges when they're here and then learn from them, learn from them and grow from them. Uh, as a leader, as a parent, as a teacher, as a boss, as a pastor, even as an exercise, I think me as a personal exercise coach and an educator, I don't think we have too much choice, do we? Can we get scared by the, by the storm? If there's people who are relying us, on us to be tough and strong, is it possible that we can't show fear? We have to be strong. We can't afford to fall over. If a storm comes along, we have to be ready for it and say, bring it on rather than, oh, the storm blew me over and I better get back up again. Or there's a lot of people, as we know, that the storm blows them over, the tough things in life blow them over and they stay down. So do you have an option to do that? I certainly don't. I'm, I'm, I am responsible for a lot of people relying on me to be the positive, optimistic solution finder who stays calm under pressure. And it was suggested to me a really long time ago that that's one of the things about being a top leader. You have to be able to handle the pressure. And if you're not putting your own body under pressure, your brain and your body, and I'm just starting to feel some sprinkles on the back of my neck, so it's getting closer and closer. And I'm getting excited. Uh, it's going to get windy, so you might not be able to hear me. I just love that Mother Nature throws challenges at us to make us stronger. Life throws challenges at us to make, it str make us stronger. So are you fit enough? Are you strong enough? Can you fight? Can you flight? mentally and physically so that when the storm arrives you're ready for it and it is just about to arrive thank you for coming to Romax my name's Rowie and every single day I'm here to make sure that we all have the tools and I'm studying researching analyzing every day the tools to be healthy fit and strong have a career or business that you love be financially free and have beautiful people in your life great relationships with the people in your life especially the one that you have with yourself and could it be possible that if you want to have great relationship with yourself and with other people that you if you are the tough the tough one the strong one the mentally capable of handling challenges that yes that brings respect in the commercial world that brings more dollars because those kind of people are very valuable in any organization but if you're a parent or a teacher do you have children relying on you to be the person that can handle pressure and stress so I'm going to 
I'm going to get wet because I really like storms, so I'm going to stay out until I'm wet and stay out as long as I can. And if it's lightning, I might just go inside. <laughs> Thank you for coming to Romax. And may you be living your life to the supermax. Bring on the challenges. Woohoo!